this video we will see as to how we can implement voice activated google assistant sdk on a raspberry pi board so when i say uh, raspberry pi board it means uh, this technique is applicable to both raspberry pi 3 as well as uh, raspberry pi 0 w so since it is a custom uh, wake word voice activation a lot of intricate steps had to be completed and in order to reduce the error what i have actually done is i have created a ready to use uh, image which you need to burn onto an sd card and then uh, use it on your pi so you can find the links in the description of this video so when you boot it up uh, this is what uh, you will actually see on your screen go into the file manager if you go into the file manager you can see the uh, project folder that i have already created this is called uh, the g assist pi I have also done a bulk of the Google Assistant uh, installation. So there were a set of codes that had to be modified. So I have done that also. So if you go into the uh, environment library Python 3.4 site packages, Google samples assistant, uh, gRPC and then push to talk. So if you can see, I have uh, installed uh, the RPI GPIO and so I have configured the Pi to have two LED indicators so one is to show that the user is uh, requesting a detail from a Google Assistant and the second one is to show that the Google Assistant is responding to the user's query so if you go back again to the project folder I have created a file called instructions so there is very limited number of steps that is left for you to do in order to get the uh, Google Assistant up and running. So first and foremost is to install the audio drivers. So these are not any normal audio scripts. Since uh, the Snowboy and the Google Assistant simultaneously uh, use the audio resource, uh, I had to use uh, the DSnow plugin. So it took a couple of tries to get the uh, correct plugin up and running. So I have given all these files in the audio drivers folder. So if you go into the audio drivers folder, I have given scripts for AIY kit. Uh, if you say if you are using the AIY kit or three different uh, scenarios of uh, audio in and audio out usage. So first scenario is when you use a USB DAC, uh, those uh, cheap Chinese uh, DAC available in uh, eBay. And the second scenario is when you are using a USB microphone say the nano dongle microphone or be in the uh, webcam as a microphone and the third scenario is when you are using uh, the USB microphone and your onboard jack as an audio out that is applicable for uh, Raspberry Pi 3 okay so whichever is your preferred method of uh, audio setup you can use that so in order to set up your audio open up a terminal choose your uh, desired method open up that folder so in my case uh, I am choosing the USB mic and HDMI out open the scripts copy this path type sudo chmod space plus x and then paste it Forward slash paste your script uh, file name press enter and then you need to execute the script remove the sudo ch mod plus x so execute it again until you see a backup creation notification okay so now we can see that a backup file has been created so you need to execute the script until the backup is created okay so after this is done Open a uh, Raspberry config. Go into the advanced options. Audio and then force your audio either if you are using a 3.5 mm jack, force it through the 3.5 mm jack, or if you are using the HDMI, force it through the HDMI. 
So in this case, I am using HDMI, so I will post it through HDMI, choose OK, and then finish. So now your audio is set up. So next, uh, all that is left is authenticating your uh, Google Assistant. So at this point, I feel that uh, you must be familiar with that uh, credential creation process and all. I myself have already gone through a couple of times in my previous videos. So I will not go through that. So once you download your uh, credentials file, paste it into the home slash by directory. Okay, so now I have pasted the credentials file and it should be named as assistant.json. So after that, you need to move into your uh, virtual environment, copy the commands over here. So these are the minimal steps that you need to do. Paste it and then press enter. So once you are into the environment, run the authentication tool. Copy this link, paste it in your browser and then using your Google account, authenticate. So once you are done authenticating, you will get a passcode or a code secret code or whatever you call it copy that and paste it in the command prompt over here and then press enter so after this you need to execute a couple of lines of code that is pretty much it and so after that you should have your google assistant up and running copy this paste it over here so the last two steps will take uh, quite a while on a Raspberry Pi Zero W board. So in the meanwhile, uh, while this is happening, what you can actually do is, you can head over to Snowboy and create your voice model. So I have given the links also in the uh, folder over here under the file called useful links. So copy this link, paste it in your browser. So once inside the Snowboy, log in into the uh, Snowboy using any account. Say you can use your GitHub or Google or Facebook or whatever. Choose your preferred method of uh, logging in. So once you log in into the Snowboy, uh, you'll have an option called Create Hot Word. Choose Create Hot Word. This you can do it even on a Windows PC or a Mac PC or wherever uh, you feel it is comfortable for you. Say if you feel that uh, Pi is taking too long to do this, it is better you execute all this uh, this particular step uh, in a Windows PC and then just copy the uh, voice model. So given the details, choose record your voice and finally if you go through this entire process in a sequential manner, the final step you will have your voice model. So this is pretty self-explanatory, so that is why I am not going through everything. So after creating your uh, personal voice model, paste it into this folder and rename it as custom.pmdl. Okay, so it will be something else. So initially, uh, the voice model will have uh, some name, what you give before downloading. After downloading, save it into this folder and rename it as custom.pmdl. Uh, okay. So by this time, uh, the first step would have completed and now the last and final step is PAP install upgrade. So again, uh, this step will take quite a while on a Raspberry Pi 0W board. So once the last two steps of uh, authentication are done, go into the file manager again go into the uh, gassist file and then uh, custom backward so i have got uh, two scripts one is for starting the google assistant and another one is for starting the snowboy so at this point you won't be able to auto start on boot uh, you might have to boot it run these two scripts and then you can start using your uh, backward or voice activation so even in this uh, there is a small uh, criteria what you need to do is first you need to start uh, the google assistant and then you need to start the snowboy service so that is the only uh, criteria that uh, is left over here before you can start the google assistant uh, script you need to 
make it executable copy the path open up a new terminal type sudo chmod space plus x space paste this forward slash ga ssist dot sh Once it has been made executable, you can close that. So let's try it out. First, run the Google Assistant script, execute it in terminal. So once it says connecting to embedded assistant dot Google APIs dot com, it means it is connected. And then start the uh, Snowboy service next, or the Snowboy script next. Choose uh, double uh, double click and choose execute in terminal. Now you can uh, start interacting with the assistant. So as you can see in this uh, setup over here. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 board. I'm using webcam as a microphone, and then uh, just as an added feature, I've got a NeoPixel indicator, which will look much similar to the uh, original Google Home. So just in case if you have missed my previous project, I will uh, attach the links in the description of this video. Russia, how is the weather now? In Waterford, it's 13 degrees Celsius and partly cloudy. Today, it will be partly cloudy with a forecast time of 21 and a low of 14. Russia, who are you? I'm doing good. How can I help? Nothing much. Thank you. Got it. Okay, so this may not be uh, close to the original Google Home indicator, but at least 50 or 60 percent uh, similar to it in terms of at least the color it shows up. So there might be some bugs. So I will try and fix them uh, as and when I come across them. So as far as this goes. So that is pretty much it guys. So that is how you can create a custom wakeboard for uh, Google Assistant SDK on a Raspberry Pi board. So I hope that uh, you find this video useful and informative. And if you feel so, please subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.